Hello everybody. Hello. Very good to see you. Very good to be back home. And thanks for uh, waiting uh, for us. We had a, a, a small delay. Um, we, would have, we should have been here an hour earlier. And I'm sorry that I'm keeping you from home uh, late uh, uh, tonight. But I really wanted to have this opportunity to, to meet with you after what has been, I believe, an important uh, trip. Uh, to Tehran with uh, an outcome which I believe in terms of uh, non-proliferation, in terms of uh, peace and security, in terms of the work of the agency worldwide is very, very important. Um, you may have seen that earlier today, uh, at the same time, in Tehran and in Vienna, we issued a joint statement which was agreed by myself and the Vice President of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Dr. Uh, Ali uh, Salehi. Um, this is a statement, I would say, that in its uh, six paragraphs uh, encapsulates what has been uh, the result of uh, very serious discussions uh, in, uh, in uh, Tehran. Uh, you will see there that there are references to the way in which we intend to work and to continue working, the necessity for trust and confidence amongst us. You will also see there um, something which is very important, uh, because when I left uh, Vienna I said that I was going basically for two motives. One was to establish this direct channel of communication and dialogue, with the Iranian authorities. The second was, of course, to get access for our inspectors to uh, two uh, sites that we were, uh, we had been requesting um, to Iran, uh, and unsuccessfully, I would say, for a number of months. Um, so the statement recognizes that we have agreed on that. The inspectors will have access to these sites. Um, we have agreed on dates uh, uh, for this. We have agreed on the basic modalities uh, for this. This is uh, extremely uh, important. We have also agreed that uh, or recognized that these um, activities that we are going to have there are related to uh, nuclear material or, or possible related nuclear activities. We have also agreed and I'm sure that you might be interested in that, in that in the present moment, in this present context, these are the places we need to go, the places we want to see. And in the present context, there are no other places uh, that we need uh, to uh, visit. So, as you can see, uh, this uh, statement uh, contains uh, a lot of flesh uh, and reflect what I believe is a very important uh, understanding, a very important agreement that allows us to continue our inspection work uh, as it should be. So with that uh, introductory note, I am of course very happy to take whatever questions that you uh, may have. Yes. Well, thank you. Um, your statement says you've agreed on dates uh, when you plan to inspect these sites. What are those dates, or at least what kind of time frame? When do you expect to go to these? Sites? Yes. Well, the exact dates is something that we, we do not normally um, reveal because this is part of the confidential safeguards information we have. But I can tell you that they have been agreed, and it is very, very soon. Uh, so you said uh, the the result or the meeting was important in terms of peace and security. Sorry, you said that the yes, meeting was in peace and security. Can you expand on that? Why, why was the meeting important? For, why were the outcomes important for peace and security? I think it is very important because the work of uh, our agency was being interrupted. Our essential work for non-proliferation had found an obstacle and we were having serious difficulties in overcoming this obstacle for many, many months. And this was not only um, I would say um, of concern in the specific case of Iran, but also, as I think I said in other, on other occasions, also in terms of the non-proliferation regime, because it was the first time that a request for an access 
to our inspectors was not being heeded. So this is why we believe that this was um, something, as I said to the Board of Governors of the agency, something of serious concern. Yes. Oh, this is Takeshi of uh, congratulations. For Thank you very much. It's very kind. Uh, could you give a small word? What made it possible for you to persuade Iran to grant the access they I think there's I don't frankly speaking, I don't I don't think there is a magic trick. This was the result of dogged um, systematic dialogue, conversation, clarification of the scope of our work, the way in which we do it. And as you may uh, suspect, um, we were preparing this for a number of days here already. I sent my chief inspector to uh, Tehran a few weeks ago, so this did not come um, by some wonder of, or some magic. It, but it became clear at some point uh, for, I would say, uh, without wishing to speak for them, uh, for the Iranian side and for us as well, that there was a need for uh, a dialogue at the highest possible level. And of course, as you know, uh, this um, happened with me meeting with, with, the, with President Rouhani uh, and Foreign Minister uh, Javad Zarif, as well as my nuclear uh, counterparts, Dr. Salehi and the others. Any other questions? Yes. Yes, hello, thank you. Hello, how are you? Um, thank you, welcome back to Vienna. <laughs> thank you very much. So, um, I would be interested, you said at the present moment, yes. the agency is fine with uh, getting the access to those two locations. So what if new leads open up? Uh, could you imagine a situation where in the future you would need further access to other sites? Well, I, I would not like to speculate, but I could imagine it. As you, as you put it. And of course, if uh, we have information that warrants us for asking questions and, if necessary, uh, access, we will do it. Any other questions? Uh, one more question, maybe. Please, please. Um, wh what does this outcome mean in terms of the general uh, tensions, uh, geopolitical tensions surrounding Iran? Because, uh, you know, this, this issue is only one one puzzle piece of, 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 of bigger tensions? Well, uh, um, this issue, of course, came up uh, in our conversations. But I would say something. Uh, the agency, while being an indispensable and very influential factor in all of this, is not an active player in all of those things you are describing. What we are trying to do is to do our job well. If that helps, all the best. Thank you very much. That's very important. Are you confident that the uh, <coughs> uh, United is providing the access completely uh, in the way that it should be? Of course I am. I am absolutely convinced that this is going to be done in the right way. No limitations? Sorry? No limitations? No, no limitations whatsoever. No. Of course, in line with the accepted practices. You know that uh, we have procedures in place to ensure confidentiality of information, the interests of the inspected countries. We do, we do not roam around freely. Uh, we have a comprehensive safeguards agreement, we have the AP, we have the facility agreements, we have all uh, sorts of procedures in place. But within that normative uh, framework, we are going to do everything that is needed to have an idea of what's going on there. Just one small follow-up question. Please. Well, I couldn't speak for them, right. uh, of course, uh, and I report to them. But my impression is that this will be welcome. Uh, as you remember, this issue was uh, considered uh, by the Board of Governors, and the Board of Governors echoed my concern. And since uh, we have had uh, a positive outcome and we can continue our work, it is my sincere hope that this will be, of course, received um, uh, well. Any further questions? Thank you very much for coming. Let me thank you very much again. I'm sorry to have kept you uh, so late, and I hope to see you at not so unholy hours uh, next time. Thank you very much.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.